Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Al YouTube channel and I am here today to announce my new series, No Spend November. I hope you'll stick around, hear more about it, find out how you can play along and what you could be entered to win. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel and you're going to be interested in participating in the challenges and giveaway, make sure to click that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. I know that many of us as crafters probably have enough in our stash to keep us busy for months, if not years. And what I like to do most Novembers is do a no spend November. During November, I focus on using what I have and challenging myself to use it in different ways. While my goal is not to spend any extra money at all on craft supplies, I just ask that you don't spend any money on craft supplies for my challenges. But hey, if you want to spend the month not spending any extra money on crafting with me, I'd love that. And then next month, when the holidays approach, it's a free for all and spend whatever you want. I know I might be. Here in just a minute, I'll start giving you all the details on what the challenges will look like, how you can enter, and even the special sold out prize that you can win. If you do end up with any questions, make sure to leave those in the comment section below because you're probably not the only one. Now, if it's a question you don't wanna ask in public, go ahead and shoot me an email. My email address is always located toward the bottom of my description box. Are you ready to find out more details? First of all, what is No Spend November? I have kind of given you a hint at it in my introduction, but basically I want to get extra crafty this month and a whole lot less spendy. I want to be able to save some extra money for the upcoming holidays and go ahead and maybe get a jump start on cards and gifts that I'll need. I will make up little challenges for myself to meet and show you how I met those challenges with a process video. I would love it if you would play along. Even though I am trying to commit myself to no crafty spending, that doesn't mean that you have to do the same to participate. But if you do decide to enter a challenge, everything that you use on your new project must be items from your stash. You can't go out and buy new stuff to meet these challenges. I think this gives us a great chance to be creative with what we already own. Now, with that being said, there is one purchase I'm gonna allow myself this month, and it is the Glitter Dots from Elizabeth Craft Designs. You know that I love to use these for sparkly flat embellishments, and they have been sold out for months, and I finally got the notice that they were back in stock. If you've been eyeing these two, I will link them in the description box below. You might wanna hurry over there before they get sold out again. And now back to the No Spend November information. Anyone can join in on these challenges and share their pictures and their videos online. But if you do want to be entered into the giveaway, you do have to be a subscriber to my channel who is at least 18 years old and lives in the United States. I am sorry about limiting this to the US, but I am sponsoring and paying for everything and shipping this internationally just wouldn't be feasible for me. And you're probably wondering what the prize is. Last month when Gina K Designs debuted her newest card kit, the Sparkle and Shine edition, I bought an extra so that when I did No Spend November, I wouldn't be spending money, but I could give you something for joining me. This card kit is chock full of goodies to create holiday and winter themed cards and projects. It is sold out and will not be restocked as a kit. Eventually you can buy everything separately, but this came all together. 
Here is a look at the kit contents. I will link the item below so you can go check it out more closely if you would like. You might be wondering how you enter, and it is three easy steps. Number one, get crafty. Number two, share online. And finally, number three, leave a comment. Number one is probably the most fun, getting crafty. What you will do is create a new project for the challenge that you want to enter. Please keep in mind that even though this new project might end up meeting more than one challenge, you do have to create a new project for each challenge that you want to enter. Also, some of these might get really inspiring and you might want to make five or six projects based upon my challenge. There is a limit of one entry per challenge per crafter. Now, also keep in mind that any type of crafter is eligible as long as you can meet the challenge with what you create. Once you've created that project and met the challenge, you're going to share it online. You can share it via YouTube, Instagram, or my brand new Facebook group called Call Me Crafty Al. If you want to play along on YouTube, you will create your project and share a video. Your video can be just a project share or it can be a full blown process video. You will need to talk about the giveaway in your video and your description box must include a link to my challenge video. So whichever challenge you are meeting, you'll link directly to that video and the hashtags that I provide you for each of the challenges. The hashtags will look similar to what you see on screen. They'll be like a hashtag call me crafty owl, no spend November 2020. And then there'll be some specifically for each challenge. So the first one for challenge one would be hashtag CMCANSN1. Now those letters stand for call me crafty owl, no spend November number one. And there will be a third that is the name of the challenge. I will provide this information in the description box of each challenge video. If you would like to play along on Instagram, once again, you'll create a new project and then you will share a photo to your feed. If you put it in your stories, it will not count because you know those go away after a certain amount of time. In the description of your photo, you must tag me and I am at call me crafty Al. I will link my Instagram account below and you must include the necessary hashtags that I give you. Those will be the same as if you would do a YouTube video and will be provided in the description box of each of my challenge videos. And finally, if you're not on YouTube or Instagram, most of us are on Facebook. So I created a brand new group called Call Me Crafty Al. I will have a link directly to my Facebook group in the description box below, and you'll need to request to join it and answer the questions that it gives you. Once I have approved your join request, you can start creating new projects and entering them for the giveaway. Once you do create your project and take your photo, you'll need to post it in the challenge specific album, not just on the main wall of the group. In the description of your photo, you have to include your YouTube account name. That's the way that I am going to connect your real life name to your YouTube name in case it is different. Now you might be saying, I don't have a YouTube account. The name that it is, is if you leave a comment, whatever it shows up as being from. Once you have gotten crafty and shared online, the final step to enter is to leave a comment. Because the number of entries could start stacking up quickly, I do need one central place to go to find out who is entered in each of the challenges. So once you have done those first two steps, you will go back to the challenge video that you are meeting and you will leave a comment with a direct link to your YouTube video, your Instagram picture, or your picture on Facebook. This way I can confirm that you have met the challenge 
and get your entry added. And that way it is also linked to your YouTube account. Please keep in mind that when you do leave comments with URLs, it will not show up on the video right away because Facebook will flag that as possible spam. But I will go in and get all those approved. So if you want to come back and see what other subscribers have created, you can click on their links. Now let's talk about all those entries. For each challenge that you meet with a qualified project, you will earn one entry into the final drawing. And just like most of my giveaways, there will be bonus entry opportunities throughout the month. I am hoping to put out about 10 to 15 challenge videos over the next two to three weeks. You can enter as many or as few as you want. But just so you know, to earn bonus entries, you do need to participate in at least one of the challenges. I will be keeping track of all entries on a Google spreadsheet. And at the end of the month, when I tally all those and make sure everybody's accounted for, I will use random.org to choose the winner. On the screen now are the important dates for this challenge and giveaway. I will not post a challenge any later than November 27th, and I need all entries or comments in by November 30th at midnight. I will have a video back here on December 2nd announcing the winner, and because this is a kind of a seasonal card kit and I want you to be able to use it right now, the winner does need to contact me no later than midnight on December 5th. Now, if the original winner does not contact me to claim their prize, I will do one redraw. Another important date is going to be this Sunday, November 8th. That is when I will be back with the first challenge for the No Spend November series. Just a reminder that I am solely responsible for this giveaway and YouTube is not. Up on screen now is the fine print that I need to let you know about, and I also have it pasted in the description box below if you want to check out that link. If you're going to join me for a challenge, here is your first bonus entry opportunity. Follow me on Instagram, and again, I am at callmecraftyal, and I have a link in the description box below. If you do follow me over there, you'll need to leave a comment on this video with your Instagram account name, just so I can verify that you are a follower. This is open to anybody who is currently a follower or who is going to be a new one. Even though I think I have covered all of the bases for this giveaway, I know that I might have left you with a question or two. If I did, feel free to leave it in the comment section below or shoot me an email. You're probably not the only one with a question. And now you're all caught up on what No Spend November will look like here on my channel. If you plan on joining me, make sure to give this video a thumbs up or leave a comment. I would truly appreciate either one. Until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. Now I hope that you'll consider clicking on one of the playlists or videos I have linked above.